guys. Welcome back. It's Pickers Paradise. We scored this nice big record lot. It was 900 records, and let me tell you, it felt like 900 pounds of records carrying them from one house to another. Um, we are super excited because we found some really exciting stuff, and definitely the holy grail of records is in this lot here. So please like and subscribe. We're so excited for you to go through these with us. So let's go ahead and get started and check them out. All right, guys, we're gonna go through these real quick. I'll go as fast as I can. So these are some uh, classical box sets. I don't know anything about these, but that's what's there. Um, whatever that is. So here's some uh, records. I'm just gonna go through them. I'll tell you about the ones I know or like that. Level 42, that's pretty good. Lightfoot, now these are actually pretty good records here. Little Feet, um, these records are in really good condition. That looks like the dog from How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Yeah, yeah, everybody loves that dog. But these are all Little Feet here. More Little Feet. Little Feet, Little Feet. This is a good one. But yeah, those are all really good records. Um, we paid, uh, what's this one, Heather? Louisiana Row. 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 Um, we paid $1,400 for these. This is a knockoff, like Beatles record thing. Um, 900 records. Oh, Leonard Skinnerd. These are, these are exceptionally clean copies. I don't know if you could tell. Um, they're just really, really nice. Um, everything this guy had is nice. He was in the Navy, so there's a lot of UK pressings, France, um, Canadian pressings, all kinds of interesting stuff in here. Um, another Skinner, don't know this guy, but you create UK pressing. Um, some of this stuff I've, I've just never seen before. Don't know anything about, but I'll look it up or something. This is a cool one. Anthony Phillips, 1804. Oh, now this is a good record here. Um, this is Pink Floyd, but it's the half speed, half speed mastered recording uh, audio file. And this this baby is, is like brand new. I mean, it's amazing, amazing condition. Um, another Pink Floyd, two LP compo, combo. Pink Floyd, The Wall, and by the way, if the album's here, if they were supposed to have like a poster or anything, it's it's in there. Pink Floyd, Pink Floyd, Robert Plant, Poco, Poco, Poco. This is actually kind of neat. Um, he had two copies, but one of them, I don't know which one, but one's Canadian, one's American. Just kind of neat how they have a different color scheme there. Another police, 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 the pretenders, pretenders two. This is a good record. Uh, the best of John Prine. Um, this is another decent one. Um, these people were really nice. Um, they actually have all this alphabetized and everything. So the outfield, the outfield, this is another <clears throat> half half speed uh, Micah Oldfield Master audiophile pressing. It's in really good condition. It's like brand new, but he must have really liked Mike Oldfield because these are all him. Got a bunch of them. But yeah, he's he's got some good records here. Um. I'll probably sell, I'm probably gonna pull, you know, maybe Heather wants, I think, two, and I want probably like 10. So here's another Half Speed Mastered Kansas audio file. Don't know this one, Kaja Goo Goo? I don't know. That might be foreign. Yeah, actually, all these are foreign right here. Um, Nick Kershaw, but uh, King Crimson, which I like these guys, and uh, there's there's that fellow, and it's it's like it's mint. If it's if it's not mint, it's near mint. 
Oh, man. The Kinks, you know, they're pretty good. Um, these are actually, I believe, valuable. I, I remember them being valuable. But, uh, Cosby, Nash, Culture Club, Culture Club. But, um, oh, I better do these guys. So this was neat. This was in here. It was a uh, Toto Africa picture disc. You know, it's a pretty good record. Probably like with the, the hype sticker, it's probably like 40 bucks or so. They're playing it a lot on the radio now. Have they? Yeah. I don't know what this is. This is Girl at Her Volcano, Ricky Lee Jones. It's pretty neat. Yeah. Um, something Twins. But um, Credence. Credence. Don't know this one. Oh, Crack in the Sky. This is actually kind of a local band to us. Not that local, but Baltimore, Maryland. And so I, I do come across quite a bit of this stuff. And uh, the whole eastern shore of Virginia, Maryland, seems to have some of these Crack in the Skies. A whole, a whole bunch of them. Harry Chaplin. Ooh, don't know what that one Kid is. Kid Card. Daydreams. Nash, 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 Commodores, Catch the Bull at four. I've, I've had that one a couple times. I think that's the fourth time I've had that record. Jim Croce, um, oh, yeah, more Croce, Bing Crosby's Crispy, uh, Christmas. You know, that's a, that's a good record, believe it or not. It always seems to sell around Christmas time for $30, $40 or so. Um, Chicago, China Crisis, China Crisis, Chase, ew, whatever that is, another more Harry Chapman, 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 don't know him, probably should, but I don't, oh, just so you all know, we are not record professionals at all, by any means, we are professionals at finding records and buying them, that we're not record professionals. What we do is we buy and sell stuff for a living. So <clears throat> we're good at that. But uh, we're not saying we're record professionals in any way, shape, or form. If anything, we're amateurs, if that. But uh, we're good at knowing how to get a bargain and buy, buy stuff to make money. The doors. So essentially, we paid $1,400 for these 900-plus records, plus a free box of 45s and the class goals and at that rate these are a dollar fifty five a piece and even if I sold them for two dollars and twenty five or two dollars and twenty two cents each that I could sell them for two thousand dollars and pretty much any record store would buy all these for two twenty two even if I made them buy them all so I'd make six hundred bucks on the, the deal and that's what I do most of the time. Bob Dylan, Dire Straits Dire Straits, Duran Duran, Duran Duran. Ooh, don't know what that is. What's that say? Depeche Mode. Depeche Mode. Roger Daltrey. Some, some stuff I've just never seen. This European stuff, I don't know. I've never seen it before. David plus David, Doobie Brothers. Oh, there's something. Um, doobies, 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 greatest hits. Don't know what that one is. Um, kind of interesting. It's pretty cover. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know what it is. Midnight Runners, Bob Dylan, the Doobie Brothers, John White, Tom Waits, Rick something, Grover Washington Jr. He's pretty good. I don't know what that record's worth, but it's worth something. Um, I'm going to have to move these a little bit. Okay. Weather, Weather report. Wham. Very white. <clears throat> Whitaker. Here's another one of these half-speed uh, audio files. Um, good, good shape. Some of these records... There was a section of his records that his cat decided to uh, sharpen its claws on. So there's some that have edge wear, but other than that, these, these are all really nice. The Who, 
Some nice who records here. Yaz. Yazoo. Okay, these these Yes albums are pretty decent. Drama. Just Japanese pressing here. Um, I believe this is a first press from Canada, I believe. No, from Germany. It's pretty good, pretty good. He album. did time in Germany and Switzerland, I think he said. <coughs> Frank Zappa. Oh yeah, Neil Young, Zappa. I don't know where he got this one from. This is a Zappa record. I just, I don't know if he bought this later in life or something, but Warren uh, Zevon, The World of the Zombies, Vanguards, Nuclear Days, The Vapors. He had all these counted and labeled when we went to buy them so he knew how many used there were and how many records there were. But these U2s are a uh, very good shape. Pretty valuable records. So, you know, 20 bucks, 10 bucks, stuff like that. Um, don't know this one. Ultra box. We're in the T section now. So, Talk Talk. And there's a couple Talk Talks. Don't know anything about Talk Talk. Don't know where they came from or anything. So, I'm guessing overseas. But, Talking Heads. There's some nice talking heads. There's three talking heads. Um, James Tyler, James Tyler, James Tyler, James Tyler, James Tyler. That's James Tyler, James Tyler, James Tyler. Oh, Taylor. Lord. Taylor, sorry, good Lord. He liked this guy. Don't know what this one is. Don't know that album. I'll have to bear with me for a second here. I gotta move some of this stuff. Alright. Got a little bit of room. This moral coil. Thompson Twins. Bill's. Billy Thorpe. Oh, that's a cool cover, though. That's a neat record, whatever it is. Three Dog Night. Till Tuesday. Welcome home. Till Tuesday. Tina. Toto, 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 Jethro Tall, he's good. Uh, don't know. Don't know. The Turtles. Bonnie Taylor. Tyler. 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 Oh, okay, so here we go. Mike's better at recognizing art. I'm better at recognizing how to read. Yeah, <laughs> so there's that. We got that going on. So, don't know what these are. Oh, are these all these Renaissance? Or? Yeah, Renaissance band. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about these guys. But there's a whole bunch of them. Don't know the value. Don't know anything about them. But they look pretty pretty darn nice. This one's pretty cool. I've seen this one before. I believe this is a Hawaii pressing. It's kind of an interesting one. Maybe he spent some time in Hawaii. He did say he spent time in Hawaii. Okay. So there's some... He said because he always got all the records mailed to him. Yes. There was nowhere to buy them. So, Gosh. this is actually a cool record. If I wish you would have bought... Yeah, this, so this is a, a Canada pressing. I, I'm not sure if this is a first press or not, but if it is, it's pretty good. But uh, it's Canadian. But um, some more Rush. Lots of Rush. Lots and lots of Rush. That's a good album. These are all in really great condition, too. I mean, his his stuff is phenomenal condition. They don't even they don't even have a smell to them at all. They, they're very, very clean. Don't know anything about this guy. Ryan's fancy. Yeah, don't know. Sad Cafe, don't know these guys either. You knew something. He told you one of their songs. Yeah, I, I, I might know the song or whatever, but I'm just saying I... You know, it's bad at names. Yeah, not too good at these aren't these aren't my cup of tea. I mean, I don't know these guys, but Saga, David Sanborn, Tom Scott, Seals and Croft, Seals and Croft, probably Seals and Croft, 
Bob Sager, Silver Convention. That's kind of a neat one here. Simply Red. I believe if it was on a red album, which it's not, it would have been pretty dang valuable, but uh oh, they want to go this way. Um, Simon. So he bought, uh, he did say he bought a couple of the records. I don't know what this one is. Um, he did say he bought a couple of the records because he would leave them maybe at home and then he'd get to a different duty station and he'd want to buy the record or miss, miss the record. He'd buy another one. So sometimes he has like a France copy and then he has a Canadian copy. Probably Canadian when he was in Alaska. So I don't know these guys. Don't know them. Yeah. If you guys know what any of this stuff is and, you know, are interested in it or, you know, want to buy it or... Journeys to Glory. Yeah, I thought it was Jethro Tall, Something but it's not. But, um, it's or, if you just, or if you just want to help us out and say, hey, that's a good record, look that one up or whatever. Let us know what's what's good. This is this looks interesting. It's Spando Ballad. Spanky in our game. Oh, it's broken. Split end, split end, split end, split end, split end, split ends, split ends, split ends. Split ends. Oh, cool. Rick Springfield, Cat Stevens, something Stevens, Rod Stewart, Rod Stewart, Rod Stewart. See, like I said, some of these are UK pressings and stuff like that. This is, uh, well, this is Germany, but, you know, which helps with the value a little bit. This is going to be another... This is going to be another something, you know, UK something or, um, Rolling Stones, Bruce Springsteen, Bruce Springsteen, yeah, um, I don't know what this one is, it just looks good, I don't know, Cafe Blue, don't know this one either, looks good, this stuff just, some of this stuff is just, uh, UK, UK bands that, you know, he tried out. He said he tried out when he was, you know, in UK and stuff. Wanted to see if they were any good. Um, Rick Springfield, Bruce Springsteen, Bruce Springsteen, more Springsteen, more Springsteen. Uh oh, more Springsteen. That's a good one. Born in the USA. That's a good album. Spooky Tooth. That's interesting. I can't remember this one. Spyro. Mm. Stephen Stills. Steven. Oh, Steel Breeze. Steel Breeze. Steely Dan. Steely Dan. Steely Dan. Steely Dan. Whole bunch of Stealing Dan. Original Master Recording. Uh -huh. Steely Dan. Oh. Okay. Diane Summers. Diane Summers. Summers. I think that's Summers. Two, there's two of the or no, there's something close there's somewhere. It's, Super it's Tramp. Okay. Super Tramp. Super Tramp. There's a master recording. Super Tramp. It's pretty good stuff there. Um, e section. Yeah, well now we're in the E's. So Eagles, 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 Eagles. Oh. Eye to eye. Encore. Houston. Earth, Wind, Fire, Earth, Wind, Fire, Earth, Wind, Fire. Can't remember this guy. I should know him. What is this fellow's name? Eurythmics. Yeah, no, he's. Can't remember him. This is before my time. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Don't know what that one is. Probably Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Yeah, probably. Um, uh oh, now we're into the cues. This is European quarter something. Quarter flash. More quarter flash. Queen. Sheer heart attack. That's good. This is an original master recording. This is a really good record. It, it does have a little bit of uh, dirt on it, I guess. If it cleans up, it would be pretty good. Now we're into something else here. I don't know what this is. But, um, oats. Oats. Heart. Whitney Houston, Head East, don't, 
What's that one? Haircut. Haircut 100. Pelican West. Merle Haggard. Hart. John Lodge. Bruce Hornsby. Don Go West. Oates. Herman Hermits. At East. At East. The Human League. Ew. Oh. Head East. More Head East. More Head East. More Head East. Well, don't know anything about them. They look interesting. Oats. It's colorful. Germany pressing, I believe. Willie. Don't know. Olivia Noon John. Willie. Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks. What's this last one here? Randy Newman. Okay. Leo Iglesias. Ice House. Nitty Blues. Uh-oh. Van Morrison. That, that's a real nice uh, clean copy of something. It's California. It feels like it should be like a UK pressing or something. Um, or Van Morrison. Moody Blues, Jody Missile, Missile, Mamas and Papas. Once again, no toilet. I haven't found one with the toilet yet. If there's a toilet right here, it's worth quite a bit of money. The Motels, Don McLean, oh, American Pie, Bad Out of Hell Meatloaf, Air Supply, Men at Work, something, Don McLean, Christmas with Somebody, MF. SB, don't know. Love is the message. Barry Manilow. Oh, okay, so these actually get pretty interesting. Um, when I was put them on top. buying this collection, these were something that I got interested in just because just they were just something neat. Marillion. But these are. It's I thought really... he said it was Swedish or Scottish. No, he it was in, it was in. He was overseas. They're UKs, but um, these are actually really neat records. I, I've never heard of this band, but if you like, Yes and stuff like that, you'll like these Genesis. I guess they're like Genesis and Yes. They kind of sound similar to that, but I mean these are. Really great copies, all in excellent condition, and he's got he's got just about every record these people produced. Interesting covers, and I believe they're all like first pressings from the area because he said something about how he got them on the the day they released them because he was so bored in a service that he didn't have anything else to do. Um, Madonna. I actually like Madonna, and um, her records can be pretty valuable. Usually they're like thirty to hundred dollars sometimes. But yeah, this is a uh, going to be UK or well, France, so that's a France one. But uh, Magnum, don't know. The best of Dave Madison, the Monkey Mania, forty timeless hits. That's neat. Moody Blues, Melissa, uh, the Motels, something. Marilyn Martin. All right. Can you see these? Yep. Can you? I gotta move. Get through the maze. Yep. So, here's a box of 45s. You can look in there real quick. And, uh, there's beetles and stuff in there, but, you know, it is what it is. So, here's just some mixes of stuff. This is the only record in this whole collection that was junk. I don't know what happened to this one, one record, but it's, worse. it's trash. But he had these 45s. He, he was really excited about them. The American City Suit. Sweet. Sweet. Do They Know It's Christmas? The Dream Academy Life on the Northern Town. Do They Know It's Christmas? He, he really liked those, these 45s. I, I don't know why, but he was really excited about them. Session five. But it's a really neat album. Stag Party. I think these are a lot of... Uh, oh, grass. I mean, there's a whole bunch of pot smoking stuff. Kind of interesting. 
sinful rugby songs. Pat Garrett, Billy the Kid. There's a long play, Neil Diamond. Logan McKenzie. Top Gun. Mm. The Falcon and the Snowman, don't know. Peter Gabriel, Birdie. Phil Collins, that's actually neat. Beginners, Quicksilver, Strange Bird, Miami Vice, Night Shift, Fast Times, Sunday, my high. Sunday Afternoon, Bob something, uh, Bob New Heart, Newhart. Newhart yeah. White Knights, The Love Album, a compilation of, you know, chess. chess. No Nukes. This is actually a pretty good record. It's got some interesting stuff. Um, something else. Fame. Bach. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ Superstore. Um, he, he really thought this was pretty cool. Don't know. War of the Worlds. That was neat. Um, Woodstock. Everybody's got to have a copy of this. That's a good one. Um, New Heart again. The Killing Fields. Mike Oddfield. He likes that guy. Chariots on Fire, Faulty Towels Against the Odds, Beverly Hills Cop, mm -hmm. Formula 30. 30, and the Summer Album. Yep. Alright, so those are done. And these on. are done. We got one last row, guys, and we'll be done. So, Don whatever. Donald Fagan. Fresh air. Fresh air, fresh air, fresh air. The Fun Boy 3, The All Nighter, Foreigner, Foreigner, Dan Fol Folberg, Folber, whatever it is. The Flock of Seagulls. These are these are good. These are superb. I mean, like I said, that well, that's got a little bit of edge wear, but they're 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 really clean. One of the best selling records right here, Fleetwood Mac Rumors. Um The Flicks. Fix. 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 I've learned a lot by watching the Noble Records guy. Um, he's taught me a lot and a lot about value and going through albums if you guys are new to this. Um, I'm not new to buying records. I'm just not good at records. I buy a ton of records. I mean, I'll be buying more records Thursday and then I'll be buying more records Saturday. But I buy lots of records. I buy lots of stuff and sell lots of stuff. But I'm not really a professional at much of uh, any of what I buy. I just know that I can make money on certain albums, certain things, and certain prices. Firefall. Firefall. Bunch of those guys. Flying pickets. Oh, sort of falling me. Flying pickets. Road music. Billy Joel, Howard Jones, Elton John, Howard Jones, probably UK pressing, France, or no, UK. Elton John, Elton John, Elton John, Elton John, Elton John. Okay, Elton John, there we go. Journey, 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 Journey. Quincy, Quincy Jones, the dude. Ricky Lee Jones, Rick James, Joe Jackson, don't know, Joe Jackson, don't know, Billy Joel, Billy Joel, Jethro Tull, yeah, that's pretty good, we got two Jethro Tull, oh, look. one's in better condition, yeah, one's in better condition, Jethro Tull, Jefferson Starship, Bob James, one of my all-time favorite albums. I used to watch my cousin listen to this record with his Michael Jackson jacket and glove on and moonwalk around the house. Kind of reminds me of my childhood. That's a pretty good one. Ricky Lee Jones. Billy, Billy Joel, Joel. Billy Joel. Billy Joel. Marvin uh, Gaye. Ooh, there's something that's supposed to go on the record. Genesis. Genesis. Neat copy of uh, Genesis. Don't know what this is. It's neat. Um, more Genesis. Uh, Genesis. 
strange stuff though. This is not not United States. Genesis, Genesis, Genesis. More? Yeah. yeah. Can you see the bottom of these records? Yep. You see down here? Yep. Yeah. Um, more Genesis, more Genesis. That's good Genesis right here. Peter Gabriel, I, I don't really know him other than, um, what is he in? But he's pretty popular. He's in a band, I can't remember. Lots of Peter Gabriel. There's another, probably another one. Nope, Grand Funk. Um, Godly and Cream, never heard of them. Freeze Flame, oh, Godly and Cream too. Um, go West. Go West. Go West. Go Go's. Go Go's. Don't know what this is. GTR. Oh. Yep, GTR. Okay, this is the Thanksgiving record. That's how I know this one. Everybody's supposed to listen to this on Thanksgiving. That's all I know. And I know it's worth like 40, 50 bucks. <clears throat> Guess who? Guess who? Green on red. Never heard of it. All right, we're in the bees. Bad finger. Oh, yeah, he must have really liked bad finger. Um, he told me that he bought all these. These were all the first presses. He bought them after the fact. Um, so he has a whole, I think he has almost all of them. And they're all, and like I said, really, really good condition. Um, I know these are somewhat valuable, um, especially in good condition. This one has some ring wear, but you know, it's pretty, pretty good. I mean, he's just got a bunch of this stuff. Um, Billy Bragg, don't know. Life's a riot, Billy Bragg, Billy Bragg. Boston. Can't even see it. Something brewing up with Billy Bragg. Don't know. Banarama. Banarama. Bad Company. Bad Company. The Band. The Band. The Band. Something. Big, Big Country. country. Oh, there's a Bowie. They have, unfortunately, the B section was where the cat decided to scratch a lot. So there's Bowie, Bowie, and oh. Bowie, and Bowie, but one of them, two of them, yeah, well, one of them survived. One of them's got a little bit, but two of them are kind of chewed up. Um, don't know this guy. Looks like George Benson. Looks like, a, yeah, I know of him. I don't know if he's, I mean, he looks good. But um, Beatles, Mystery Tour. There's uh, two Abbey Robes, Four Wheel Drive, The Bangles, The Bangles, Jackson Brown, Jackson Brown, Jackson Brown, Jackson Brown, Jackson Brown, The Birds. Ooh. Um, what's that say? Jeff Beck. Jeff Beck. Buffalo Springsteen, Big Country, Big Country, Blue Bells, Blue Oyster Cult, ah, I can't remember the name of this, oh, Blind Faith, that's a good album, and uh, you can't sell that one on eBay a lot because their things are out, but you can put like a tape over it and sell it, I think it's like $30, Jackson Brown, he ran... Brampton raved about this album. He said it's just I need to listen to it. You have to listen to the Infinity. Symbol. Yeah, I need. He said to listen to the Infinity one, but um, more of these people. Aphrodite's Child. Yep. Here's an Alabama. I was happy to have that one because I do not have this, so I'm keeping that. There's a couple of these that I'm keeping. There's the band. Ambrosia. 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 Ambrosia, Jeffrey Abbott, Bill No, American. American Hearts, something Prime Cuts, America Rich or something. Aha! 
Don't know. Looks like a Asia, Asia. Alan Parsons Project. More of the same. More of the same. More of the same. More of the same. This is another Alan Parsons Project stereo, whatever this is. But, um, stereo cut. Pretty cool. Um, this is. This is, we're getting close to where I got really excited. So, um, these box sets are just fabulous. So, Santana, um, let me try to move these out of the way a little bit. Yeah. Santana, this is the Rolling Stones on DECA. You know, this is a, a good solid $100 bill all day long. Um, what's that say? JJ, JJ Kale. Kale. I can't remember. It's like 30 or 40 bucks or something. Um, Simon and Garfunkel box set. I mean, and the, the, like I said, these things are... Vi oh, I didn't see that one in there. But um, Jesus Christ Superstar. Um, this is a $50 box set. They've sold it a couple yeah, times. Yeah, I've had three or four of these. I've sold this about 50 bucks every time. Um, this, is, this is what got me going. This is our holy grail for Heather and I. This is uh, something we've wanted. We both wanted this. This is the Beatles Blue box set. And it is just in great condition. He said he played it one time. That's it. He played the, these, that it has everything inside of it. And all the records are, I mean, they're, it's like brand new inside. Um, has a little bit of wear on the outside. Not not too bad one little thing there and a little bit of dirt, dirt and dust that will wipe off but that that that's our holy grail right there that's probably a 500 hundred dollar box set that will be a keeper we'll be keeping that so we were extremely excited to find that um that's actually probably what made me buy this whole thing and um just really liked it. And this is a cream box set. This is probably like $100 or so. And then the the Who's box set. Um, just really excited to find these box sets. You just don't find these. And um, you really don't find these where we're from. But so we, we normally buy storage units and uh, we, we buy just about anything. But we just so happen to be stumbling across all these records all the time. So Thursday, I'll be buying another collection of records. And then Saturday or Sunday, I'm buying another collection. So we'll do some more videos for records. Check us out this week. Um, we actually bought another huge collection that I didn't videotape three weeks ago. But um, it was actually really good, a really good, uh, really good uh, collection. But check us out. Let us know if you guys know what any of this rare European stuff and France stuff is. And uh, please subscribe. Check you later.